Well, hello folks, Captain Dave, sitting on the back porch. You might have said to yourself, what all was that? Well, that was me doing a little customization of my cold steel pocket Bushman. And the first customization I did weeks ago, you can see it doesn't come with these little ridges there. I did that myself just to give it the back of it some grippiness. It sort of has it right there as you might well know. But let me start out first with this knife gets a lot of poo-poos and it's obviously by people who would rather be using a staple puller and those guys that all they want to do is flick their knives, the little, the little hand toy boys. I don't look at any knife that I own as a toy, a hand toy. They're all tools to me. I'm a metal fan and I'm a simplicity fan. As you might well know, I have a big metal boat and I'll patch in a picture. So, being a metal fan and a simplicity and utility fan, I love the Pocket Bushman. And the one reason I really love it is for the sheer fact this knife is a whopping like $26. Yes, to the knife snob or steel snobs out there, this is cheap steel. German 4116 by Cold Steel, Taiwan. <laughs> 
I'll also patch in a little video here of how sharp this knife actually is because I've stropped it, I've spider co triangle sharp makered it, and you might be able to see that gleaming edge in the sun. But this knife will cut tissue paper. And I'm talking tissue paper that is thinner than tissue paper. <laughs> Most tissue paper. And I've sliced it and did a video about it. And here it is. So thin, you can read a magazine through it. Sharpened on nothing more than the Spyderco Sharp Maker system. Extra fine stones. An old leather belt nailed to the workbench. Stropped with nothing more than cheap. Harbor Freight green polishing compound and black buffing compound and also stropped on black and green on two different sides on my giant strop that I use for fillet knives. This is a huge knife according to all the sissy boys out there. And it's a knife that has the Demco, I believe he calls it the ram lock. You pull it, you pull this, and shut it. I'm not going into all the super details, but this ha has to have a lanyard on it. And you pull it, watch the blade, and then when you pull it, Okay, it's what releases a big catch right here. I'm not into all the technical terms, but this baby is so strong. Simple. Stainless steel, stainless steel. Yes, it tarnishes, it gets all dirty, but it also builds a wonderful patina, sort of as you use it. And what you just saw me doing was adding a little thumb spot right there with JB Weld uh, steel putty, I guess they call it. And then I just followed these grooves and just put some little grooves around there for aesthetics. <coughs> I also put some black pr or a gray primer paint on it and then sort of sanded it off with some thousand grit sandpaper. I followed this groove right here. And the reason I did that is the knife initially having nothing there right here was kind of slick. So now when I go to close it, it's easier to grab because I made a thumb spot. And then you stick your finger out, you pull and you close. When Len Thompson, the owner and founder of Cold Steel, has to do a how to open and shut this knife, you know there's a lot of sissies out there. This is a huge knife. It weighs a lot. It is a fantastic slicer with that clip point. Just nice, thin blade, and that's the reason I like it. It's a tool. It's not a hand toy, it's a tool. I don't know if you can, you're can. you gonna be able to see it, but I've had my go rounds with it and I chopped myself right there. And I had to push it together, put some tape on it for a few days and it went back together. 
this isn't a knife to fool around with. The more you kind of handle it is where the, you get the patina sort of on the stainless. <clears throat> I did these just for fun. That is my little mod with JB Weld. Underneath, this isn't just a clump of JB Weld stuck on there. Well, it is, but at the same time, I made grooves in it underneath and then made this and pressed it on and my, that is exactly my thumb right there so I can grab it because it is kind of slick you know when it didn't have that I mean the other it used to look just like that there's a little bulge right there right in here for your hand it's kind of a I call it the taco knife it's just folded stainless pocket bushman and now I can just go grab it back here on the lanyard I can just point it away from me I squeeze it pull it and shut I love this knife so it's cheap enough that you can play that's the reason I did that and that's the reason I just did that do that again But this, this knife catches a bunch of crap from the hand, to, hand toy boys. So that's my pocket Bushman. I love it. I love the simplicity. And that's my, what most people would think is just a stupid little mod. Yeah, it looks like some kind of, it's not great. I'll be the first to admit, but it's very useful. Very useful. Stick my finger in there, stick my fingers up there, go to close it. No slipping. My That little ramp keeps my hand from slipping. Boom. Real easy, folks. All you poo-pooers out there, you know, this, this just isn't a, this isn't a toy. And right there is evidence that that is not a toy. I love it, and uh, it's so sharp, it's absolutely ridiculous. The steel sharpens very well, it works for me. Thanks for watching.